In Rabbids Go Home, the lovable, dim-witted, and overly curious critters forego their typical minigame antics and star in a full-fledged adventure. With a bottomless shopping cart in tow, the rabbits embark on a combination of 3D platforming with enough item collecting to satisfy the most insatiable pack rat appetite. Does Rabbids Go Home deliver a unique and out-of-this-world experience? <laughs> Earning a spot on bizarre storyline lists everywhere, Rabbids Go Home follows the group of mentally unstable misfits on their quest to return to their home on the moon. Forget rockets or anything propulsion driven. Through a series of grunts, groans, and screams, the Rabbids decide the best way to reach the heavens is to build a tower out of anything they can get their mitts on. From their junkyard base, the wacky bunch set off for a heavily populated city to rob humans of their prized possessions. The story never pulls any punches, with crazed canines and humans trying to eradicate the relentless rabbits. You'll be laughing the whole way through. <laughs> Rabbids Go Home can best be described as the mutant offspring of Katamari Damacy's insistent collectathon of crap, with bits and pieces of Super Mario Galaxy's platforming thrown in for good measure. Assuming the role of the frantic dynamic duo, it's your job to steer their shopping cart through a variety of levels, accessed via a sunny downtown hub. Your main priority in each of the 30 plus stages is to collect as many circle items as possible, with one really large item awaiting you at the bitter end. You'll have to avoid treacherous traps, teeth grinding obstacles, and a large number of pesky rabbit hating humans along the way. For the most part, level design follows a linear path, indicated by a makeshift road. However, it wouldn't be a rabbit's game if there weren't a few surprises. Some of the more unique stages spice things up, allowing you to take the reins of a Boeing 757 jet engine or tube down a canyon at breakneck speed. Later stages offer a higher degree of challenge with elements like water, shifting platforms, and tilting bridges. Considering this is a big leap forward for the rabbits, the transition into a full-fledged adventure works out really well. You'll see plenty of elements from other games in here, but it isn't without a few shining moments of originality. One of the more obnoxious design choices is the collecting of hidden objects, which are necessary for progression. Nothing puts the brakes on the action like having to search each and every corner for five red pipes. Unlike past rabbit titles, this one is predominantly a solo affair. A second person can ride shotgun with another remote and help collect items by pointing and clicking, but it doesn't amount to a worthwhile experience. As far as social elements go, Rabbids Go Home lets you fully customize your own rabbits and take your creations online to share with others. With plenty of levels, each one packing a good 5 to 15 minutes of hilarious fun, the campaign lasts a good several hours. And with the freedom to revisit levels, you can always try to better your score. And thank you for choosing Titanic Air. <laughs> Fast, frantic, and with nary a dull moment, Rabbids Go Home puts you in the driver's seat of a shopping cart, albeit one capable of burnout spins and speed bursts. The nunchuck's analog stick makes for the perfect steering wheel, while waggling the remote induces a scream attack to floor your enemies. Speaking of which, humans disguised in big billowy exterminator suits, as well as dogs on leashes, and the occasional cleaning robot will attempt to halt your progress. At times, you'll be forced to take on a number of enemies, which prompts a short, fun battle sequence. The only drawback with the cart is the lack of a jump button. At times, this makes rabbits feel less like a platformer and more like a slalom racing game as you twist in and out of hairpin turns looking for a ramp up to the next area. Lining up a jump can be difficult at times due to a faulty fixed camera angle. With a few cart upgrades earned throughout the progression of the campaign, you'll soon find yourself performing short turbo boosts and even floating gently above the ground. The variety is such that you never get used to any one gameplay experience for too long. Difficulty isn't a factor here either, since checkpoints are generously sprinkled throughout each stage, and you're given infinite lives. Our, our names both start with B. Now that bodes well. <laughs> <laughs> The attention to detail definitely deserves a nod, but the real showstoppers are the hilarious rabbits. The expressiveness of their facial animations approaches that which you see in CG movies. We dare you not to laugh at the first sight of the pink thong, or the moment you pulverize a smiling rabbit inside the remote. 
but not everything is so well executed. Rabbids Go Home suffers from a few technical hiccups, namely screen tearing and clipping. It doesn't always run as smoothly as we'd like it to either. Overall though, Rabbids feels like a really well done cartoon full of spontaneous fun and wonder, but with a few hitches. <laughs> With the hilarious franchise already established, it only seems fitting that the Rabbids get to star in something more substantial than another minigame collection. The end result delivers a heartwarming and worthwhile experience that's unique, fast-paced, and provides endless laughs.